Then you have to get them back. I can't say that. You've got the two-way radio strapped on there, and then uh, we put the first aid kit in the back of that. Right. I'll turn the radio on, and if uh, every uh, every half hour on the half hour, just give us a call and give you a call, and uh, especially if we're out of sight. So you can go around here anywhere up into this little cove that we're anchored in, okay. and then you can also go around this point and into Snug Cove, all right. and all the way around that, and then out in the middle of Gambier Bay, there's an island, a couple islands that are straight out from there. Okay. And uh, in the past, we've seen tons of eagles. Okay. You sit down there and you swing your feet over right onto the center line. And then if you scoot your right hand a little bit farther out, you can, yep, there you go. And then you can just lift yourself up, slide right in. Perfect. This is just an incredible, incredible patch of beauty here. The, the isolation and the, and the mountains. Coming from the middle of Texas, is uh, snow-covered mountains is a real treat. Especially when it's 101 in Austin, Texas at the moment. There was a couple of uh, couple of bald eagles. We saw some saw some of them hunting earlier, which was uh, which was really exciting. I love the way they swoop down to the water and and, and use their claws to pick up the uh, try to pick up the prey. quiet and beautiful and the water is like glass at times and we just saw a porpoise and it was rolling it was just up and down yeah it's um, seeing the mountains it's gorgeous we saw a bunch of whales and uh, one of them really up really close and that's that's always a thrill to see we're gonna be uh, turning around here in just a little bit and uh, coming on back you got the uh, you got the dinghy out for us so far, every, everything from the setting foot on the boat to, yeah. to, to right now has been a thrill. Well, we've seen uh, a lot of new species of birds that we have not seen before, which is always a good thing for somebody who's into nature and who's a, a birder, and uh, humpback whales. I haven't seen them before, so that's another first. There's the seal. Every single turn, there's another little creature popping their head up or their tail up or... <laughs> You know, and flying around. It's Eagles just, in abundance. Yeah. This is our first 24 hours, and we've seen so much already. You know, all the whales, all the seals, all the eagles, all the wildlife, and all the scenery, the glaciers, and it's just incredible. Oh, <laughs> food is excellent. <laughs> you bet. It's incredible. I can't believe how how hard she works and how delicious that food is but there's our buddy the seal definitely shows much caring much caring personal attention and uh just so it's like private i think it's part of it because there's not a whole bunch of people around and certainly when we go outdoors that's what we're looking for is to get away from the crowds
took a boat and we decided that uh, you know the little the little island that uh, that we went to on the kayak. Oh, right, that, that Hughes Island. Right, that doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a name. We 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 decided we'd go ahead and name that. We're going to name that the uh, the David B Island. You know, that'd so be that, perfect. Uh, yes, yeah, so you guys are uh, are honored. Now, we'd like to see you pencil that in on the map. If well, you hold would. on. <laughs> So you, so you can tell you can tell subsequent there it is yeah that's the David B Island right there one of the little games is we finish a day where we've had these great experiences and we say how can Jeffrey and Christine possibly top that tomorrow and somehow every time they've been able to top it I don't know how 